Hello YouTube, I just installed Windows XP on the Toshiba Satellite. This is a very old laptop with 384 megabytes RAM. I got it from my guitar player and I'm going to use it to do recordings, live recordings when I'm, you know, doing shows or doing certain things with a band. But uh, I also want to give it some updated looks and I'm also testing this package here. It's called the Windows 10 Skin Pack for XP. So I just installed it. There was no big deal. Uh, downloading the file was 6 megabytes. It was a 6 uh, megabyte zip file. Unzipped, it came out as an X. I just uh, copied that to my desktop. So there it is. And I'm gonna reboot the computer now. And as you can see, we had the classic skin. Uh, by default because this is a Windows XP version that I made light myself I can show it to you I still have it in here let's see what it is you see that this is the CD I made it years ago see that by Puck with SP2. This is only for old computers. And no, I cannot give this out. I cannot send it out because I don't have the copyrights of this. I created it from one of my Lego uh, Windows XP CDs that I had with a program called N-Lite that was created by Din Dino Nuhi. Uh, yeah, a guy that I really admired at that time when I learned how to create a Windows Vista Lite install CD, DVD, well even CD because we could make it so light that it could fit on a CD, 699 megabyte. And there you go peeps, I don't know if you can see it there, Windows 10, I love, I just love this transformation, it looks fantastic. And the, the, the sounds, and there you go, the Windows 10 desktop and the windows 10 uh, icons the bar of course not the start menu don't tell me the start menu is in there no it's not but it looks a very very beautiful very nice makeover and uh, i think every xp user would love to have this little file so i'm gonna put it in the description it's a very very small file it's called windows 10 skin pack for xp and there are even more skin packs out there for windows xp i put up a link to the site so you can test them all and you know use the one that you really love and like so I'm gonna leave this just the way it is because this is it feels really light so I'm not having the idea that I installed all sorts of crazy themes over my Windows XP let me show you the specifications of this laptop it's a no big deal laptop it looks fantastic at this moment it has 1.1 gigahertz with 368 yeah you cannot see it. all i can say uh, this is looking very very nice it's uh, done on the toshiba satellite with only let me show you the specifications real fast with only um 1100 uh yeah it's 1.1 gigahertz uh, with 368 megabyte ram so this is like a no big deal um, machine but it runs fantastic I think I still have to you know add some drivers to this thing um, also in settings here uh, I could adjust it for best performance and let's see what's gonna happen if the team will change a lot well it did not change a lot only thing that really changed is the start bar and the start menu so we're gonna let Windows decide we put it back and of course you won't get the team back the way it was the icons uh, they stay the same these are the windows 10 icons to get the team back and the start menu back you must go to uh, appearance and then here you put it on windows 8 metro blue and then normal large fonts whatever boom this is with large fonts 
and then dang there you have your little start menu and or back we can also say if we can go to um, the properties of the taskbar and up here we can say a uh, small can we say small small taskbar we could say classic start menu let's see what's going to happen ah you see that then we just have oh that also looks nice huh see that peeps this also looks nice this is a real small uh start menu and up here we can say auto hide the bar lock test bar show quick etc etc well i think it's all good yo i like it um i cannot say small Oh wait, I said big, big large fonts. Let's put the fonts to normal. Boom, there you go. You see that? Looking fantastic. Well, uh, peeps, this was it. Uh, not going to make this video any longer. Link will be in the description. If you think this video was cool, hit it uh, a little thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And of course... Of course, uh, peace out until my next video. Bye.